Hello, I'm John Fox from Channel John West. I'm having a Dangan romper adventure, and um, presumably you've been watching the series from the start, or maybe you just jumped on this episode, which would be very odd. Start from the beginning, it'll be, it'll make no sense if you don't. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, I mentioned that I had a sort of power cut and I lost an episode and I had to re-record an episode, and because of that. And I almost forgot, I almost forgot, where's my cursor? Because of that, I'm streaming. So I'm gonna press the stream button now. Don't waste. And I'm having a dang romper trigger happy havoc adventure. I add that because I only just pressed the stream button. Uh, yes, as I was explaining, uh, I've been a bit paranoid about losing videos, so now I stream them at the same time to have a backup copy. Now, the reason I mention this, you might be able to see where this is going if you are. Uh, Good an eye for mysteries. Um, the sort of the reason I began doing that is because of a power, like a weird series of power cuts that sort of broke a whole bunch of stuff of mine. Uh, and what I didn't realise was it was recording all the videos to the wrong place. So I was like, oh, I've recorded three videos, right? And this will be my third. Um, and I was like, oh, they're in the wrong place. So I'll copy them across and I'll change the settings and I'll delete all the things. And I went, no, 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 I need a backup. And I press Control Z. And what that does is it doesn't undo the copy and paste, it just disappears them into the ether. And you're like, what? Where's it gone? No, and they're like, it was really dumb of me. Like, oh no, I deleted the original. Oh no! And so I had to use recovery software. I managed to track down with a, like, I immediately got recovery software. And I was like, okay, I've, I've, I've got episode one and two and the second half of episode three. So here's what's happening. I've recorded this episode before, but... I've only managed to recover the last 20 minutes of it, so I'm just going to record the first 30 minutes, 30 minutes again. I have to do it immediately, otherwise I'll just, ne I'll just never play this game again. But uh, yes, I know what's going to happen for the next 30 minutes. Is what the point I'm getting at is. Uh, yeah, I should make sure I look at the camera, not at my face. Hello, face, though. Not my face. It's my face. Um. So yes. Uh, um. Oh, Makoto, you okay? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so. Well, you were worried about you. I, I, <laughs> what a dullard. I've got more things to say, but I've got Toko, Byakuya, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Oh, I meant to Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's... Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she was here, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? Shh. The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what stupid. did you say? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far in your argument, maybe you should stop and think of things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be a part of it, but the, that's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive for the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words... This right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if you really can beat the Mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in what my are you mind. Saying? Idiot! You really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible were to happen to her? <laughs> it wouldn't Inter matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, it's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Bayakuya. <laughs> In fact, if she were to die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. What the hell? It's Toko looking confused in the background. How did you get her hair up like that? You disgust me! You're... you're a monster! Hmm. To say something like that? 
It should have been you. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Then you're planning to take care of that yourself. Go ahead, try it, if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Hmm. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> stupid cow. How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No. A million. Place is in the wrong place, isn't it? Let's put it there. Just uh, a oh, second. she's just a hysterical little girl hardly worth my attention. It's what other people call having feelings, Bayakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. Friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. Yeah, I mean, possibly in the next ten minutes or so. I don't have time to play with you. I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> so, uh, you know, uh, um... how about we, uh, eat? Uh, maybe not... Now's not, not a you good know? time. <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Phew! Better. So, what should I do today? Right, so, I've been meaning to say a couple of things. One, I had to load my game to redo this bit, and apparently I hadn't saved since two episodes ago so I had to fast forward. Luckily you can press B and you'll fast forward through all the dialogue but um, so I managed to do that quite quickly. I had to redo um, all the present pulls so now I've only got 50 left but I've got different items um, but I decided to give to cheat because damn it I, and give him what I thought was a better item and I got lost in thought Um, hang on, is that new? Yeah, I've not seen what that does yet. I've got max SP on top of that. No, hang on. No, did I? I can't remember anymore. I thought I'd got two at once, but now I'm not so sure. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to talk to the same people as I did before. So, as you might have guessed, I can't talk to Sakura, and I can't talk to Kyoko. So I decided to talk to the people most in danger. Uh, outside of those two. So, I decided that was. These two. So, yeah, I'm going to do everything exactly the same, but I am going to give him a different item. This is the last one. It's Hina? certainly possible. Sakura is dangerous, as is Hina. You never know when they might strike. Hmm, should I talk to him for a while? Yes. That's fine. Actually, I might give him. I accidentally gave him an item, and he said, gave me an F+. Plus, but that might have been a good thing. So I accidentally gave him... Blueberry perfume, and he was like F plus. But he's like, is that actually simply a good thing? And it's something posh though. I can't remember if he liked that or not. Seven important mathematical problems opposed by Clay Mathematics. Hmm. Hope speak graduation, uh, although someone left behind the signature page is all blank. Yeah, so I gave um, I gave him the sacred tree spray, the uh, the clairvoyant, and he seemed to like that a lot. Instead of the water flute. Oh, 
Oh, I have no idea. I'm just gonna give him that. I'll show you. I'll just do the same thing. No, no, no. I should give him. I don't know anymore now. Whichever comes first. Damn it, you see, the thing was better. Does that mean he liked it? So, in other words... Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on care and protection of the Togami name. Ah, is that... There's a monologue or something. <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's saviour. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. And after all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles. <laughs> I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. So... I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. So I spent a while explaining, like, it's a bit of a stereotype that I like, pet peeve of mine when they're like, how do we do like a young genius? Oh, he made all his money in the stock market. And yeah. It's like, yeah, that's more difficult than people think it is. Like, it's not a science. Yes. Surely, like, but it's so it's shorthand in these sorts of stories. Like, oh yes, he's a he's a millionaire genius. He got it all from the stock market. So surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything. It's called day trading. I knew that was somewhere. You talk about day trading, and you were able to make four billion dollars doing that. That's right. Well, I first started doing it to keep myself occupied, but before I knew it, there it was. It's not really a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait. A high school is even allowed to buy stocks and stuff. Don't make me repeat I'm myself. Bayak Bayakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of a modern day nobility. You know, Bayakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple. This is why I got annoyed of it. So I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez! Do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> of course. That's how I feel about even anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he is really confident. Like, we're worlds apart. Galaxies apart. There we go. Let's go, points go up. Still reeling from Bayakuya's story, I went back to my room. I'm not sure if I'm going to record this entire episode or cut to the original because the original has pops and cracks in it for some reason and I probably should spare you. I have plenty of time. Don't feel like sitting here. Where should I go today? Uh, so I will continue doing what I want. Is the area? Yes. I can tell you she does not like scissors. Which, you know, I thought that would have been a shoe. What's your yeah, problem? Yeah, she didn't like him so much she didn't even give me uh, SP or anything. Creepy and romantic is a rose in vitro, isn't it? But you don't have. So an unending dandelion will do. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Definitely not she is. Why is it saying the wrong buttons? <laughs> you given this to me? Don't think it makes me happy or whatever. It's more annoying than anything. Does that mean she liked it? Okay. I thought Toko totally hated me. 
but it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. It's okay. What's your problem? You're a question. You're a question for your classmate. Is she happy? So I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I just right. Yeah, I think I got. I didn't get this bit because I was. T t my present was too bad. I'm serialized. Some was really busy. When I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not like an idiot like you. <laughs> oh damn it! I had to go open my big mouth again. Also, I murder people for fun. Must hate me for sure now. Yeah, because for murdering people, yes. No, it didn't really bother me. The murdering does. I, I can't actually believe you write my novels. My novels. My lady. Uh, and, and that people all over the world read them. So how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or... Huh? Are you stupid? What? <laughs> I told you. Didn't I write romance novels? How could I use my real life experiences for that? <laughs> From my imagination, it's just delusions. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you like, even if you never do in real life. <laughs> Why are you saying you can't write romance unless you have lots of experience in love? No, not at all. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to people making fun of me, but someday I'll show them. I'll get pretty someday and show them all. Boiling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. Skill or be skilled? Ooh. Maximum skill points have gone up. Hey, look at you go. Oh, you, you're doing good for you. Thank you for condescending me, narrator. Once in a while, we're done. I headed back to my room for a little while. Yeah, because if I only have to do 20 minutes, I may as well do it and spare you a crap episode. I just did this episode. Hmm. Just recorded it. This is a school I as such soon the okay. Which means I will Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I'm just hope nothing happens tonight. We've got a sequel. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back, okay, then how about you, to make you extra special, you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But that's, how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards, I want to go forwards. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line, and she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey. It's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff to, and from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping in the fashion world, but the crab... Doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your re market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! Go forward to this. Good morning, everyone. Get ready. I need to do something about Sakura. Better go to the dining hall and talk to the others one more time. Ah! Huh? Was that someone screaming? Someone died? I think it came from the dining hall. Ah, Makoto, we've got a big problem, man! What's, what's wrong? Uh, Look! Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Uh, Hina! Uh, Are you okay? What happened? This is where I sarcastically quipped. What do you think happened? Ah, oh, I, I, I tripped and fell while uh, she was, you know, she was 
she was showing me uh, knives and I was so impressed with knives. I tripped and fell. What do you think happened? She, she killed her. No, she didn't. I said that last time as well. No, she didn't. Look. Genocide Jill killed Hina. She, what? You've got to be kidding. No, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh -huh. Toki and Hina, just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. That led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> ah, look at my chickly collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, totally anyway, not adorable. Totally not adorable, boys. Get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. My beautiful I'll start scissors. cutting and cutting and cutting and imposing myself for who knows how long. Okay then, let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hera, help me. Uh, um. There goes my hero. <laughs> Watch him as he goes. Na 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 na. Thanks, Jill. I'm gonna do this stuff twice. It Let's well have fun with it. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it was it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. <laughs> yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic! That makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. That's terrible! But it's because she's just so awful. Just the most super awful girl ever. Could it be? Come on, go easy on her. It's probably because of her complicated home life. Forgive and forget, yeah? You know what? I didn't see this option last time. I managed to, I skipped pink there because I was curious as to what happened. A complicated home life? Hmm. Well, remember what she said? She lived with her dad, her mum, and her other mum. That's true. I wonder what led to her having two months. I'm right, right? Whatever it was, it must have been serious. But a little bit of, you know, to be expected. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I can't forgive her. Uh, um... When a woman snaps, it's honestly terrifying. I didn't get to see that. So if you go straight into fight, you miss the option. Let me guess. The fight was because of Sakura. But... At first, I... Try to just ignore it. If you let Judd Butt, Judd Buttholes, he's a friend of mine. Don't let him near anything. Uh, if, if you let him get to you all the time, you'll never have that time left to live your life. But she just wouldn't let it go, so I just what the heck? without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. Yes, it can be. Uh, yeah, no. But when you see red, it's not red. It's red. Right. When things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I couldn't just take it anymore. Because, because, because she's <laughs> always seeing, saying these terrible things about my friend, you know. Also, she's a serial killer. I don't, we've sort of forgot about that. But she murders people. That, a lot, she, at least ten. Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started to welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina. Sakura. Hina. Huh? Sakura. I was going to say someone else's name it to be funny, and I accidentally said Sakura, Sakura instead of Sayaka. <sighs> You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's it's not a big deal. Hey! Makoto, hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> It wasn't me, it was Genocide Jill! It's all that demented murderess's fiend's fault! Oh, damn! To hurt Hina, damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her, what is this? How dare you! 
I'm okay, really, it's just a scratch. Uh, no forgiveness! I can't forgive this! Uh, Hero, you want to hate someone, hate me. You want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? What? I don't hate you, exactly. I can't forgive this! Why? Uh, uh, Nobody save me! Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather that something's happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything, I just... <sighs> I'm drawing a line, right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura. Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Kyoko... I... Yo! Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. It's because the game wouldn't let you, but I'm still going to blame you. You you were only thinking of Sakura and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse anyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. Phew! Oh, we went ten minutes with them not getting on like a house on fire. How? Oh, I'm not sure my heart could have taken any more pressure there. That's what you were thinking. That's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Huh? You're blushing! What's that? Are you blushing? Anyway... It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay. Thank you. The refrigerator. <laughs> Sorry, I clearly wasn't any for the refrigerator. <sighs> I want to talk to you about something else. What is it that you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then. With a diff typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, Kyoko. I hurried up to her. I'm pretty sure that's... Ah, Kyoko! No, like a fine wine, Kyoko. Which is a little bit creepy. Um... She walked ahead in silence. And then in silence, I chased... Thanks, thanks, game. Eventually, we arrived. We... We used our left foot about half the time. The other half was our right foot. We just sort of swapped between them until we got to our destination. The dressing room. So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. It's... He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, there's something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something. Yo! Um... Hello. Oh, um... So it's just the two of you. Kyoko and Matoko. Makoto. No. Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Oh, everything she does is just perfect. She's the best. Like, it's getting a little bit obnoxious, um, with the game. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Uh, two should be plenty. But what is it that he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What is it? Like, she has to be... She, she, she knows... She figured out all the murders before, like, before anyone's done anything. She's, she's like, a mysterious. She does all the... It's, it's just a little bit obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. Um... What did you want to ask us? So, um... Oh yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere. 
Or you can connect me to the school network. What? Kyoko and I gl quickly glanced at each other. Like that. Really quick. She replied. Why? You Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying that I've finished my work. But... I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep helping and be helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so we can all get out of here. That's right. That's what Master would want to. So to help everyone else. To solve the mystery of this school. That's right. The only way I can help is to if you connect me to this school's network. So the, it's about here that my I actually have footage of. But it is really crackly. And I I get comments for this, so I think I should actually put some effort into it not being rubbish. Also, I'm pretty sure the last two episodes are going to be really low quality because they're, like, I'm pretty sure I, I had to rescue the stream versions and not the original versions. So if, if, if you're wondering why the quality is a bit weird on the last two episodes, it's because of the weird shenanigans I mentioned at the start of the episode. Anyway, yeah, I'll spare you the crackly version and record it again. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? So... I realise how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about what everybody else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. I'm gonna but it's for the sake of everyone else. I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. Hey. Remember what you said before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. I mean, he was the ultimate programmer, though, so who knows, right? Uh, but I can say this. Correct. There's no question that old so Ego is our friend. Sorry, that was me adjusting on my chair there. Uh, Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight... Alongside his friends. Now, if... If you were in his place... What? If you were in his place, could you sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them that you're their friend. So, hey, um... are you guys fighting? It's actually here that their cut should have been... If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember? There's a place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. Sorry, my, my ears are hurting because of the headphones. A room without surveillance. Yes. The music room. It's a... That's it! The secret room you told me about. That one there! I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. That's well, Kyoko. I remember seeing the, an Ethernet port on the wall. Oh, it's okay. No camera, Andy. However... However, just because there's no camera in there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure that the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego. The Mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because of that, our best chance of... That's our best chance of finding any new clues. Coco. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him uh, with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Ta, ta very much. So then... Let's get this party started. 
Gonna be a little cramped for you, old ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. Closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> it tickles! Yes, you. You can't talk right now. I'm going to move you to an another room. Until we get there, you'll have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Good. To have him react like a machine like that after all, all of a sudden. I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Sound. Yeah, there's at least two gates. It tells me at least two more moments. Oh, I just got turned down. Right. Yeah, this wasn't so bad. Um, you gotta imagine, I thought I'd lost three episodes. Uh, and weirdly enough, I was more grumpy about uh, losing, like, the, the, the episode to the power cut, weirdly, yeah. I don't know, it just completely threw me the power cut. Just a second. Hey. Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe in you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go and make sure you don't run off. I'm going to wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's a You're acting. Yes, of course I will do that thing that you want me to do. She was so forceful. I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay. I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer for some reason. There's a cable in this drawer for some reason. Find it. This is the cable. The network cable. Now we just have to connect all the ego. Let's put a, in, him in like the drawer where it's sort of subtle. Like maybe put papers on the wires and no one will be able to see it. I immediately got to work. Pulled out the laptop and connected to the Ethernet port on the cable. Um, no, just, just, just in the most obvious place. Okay. Not even like on the floor behind the table or something. Just something. Just a little, like, no, no, no. That should do it. Um... That's right. I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world and find the internet's paused or something. If I can... I'll, I'll see if I can call for help. So... Please, just wait a little longer. I'm just gonna hold on, do my best. Hold on tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us. All of us. Definitely every single one of us. As friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. But we are not friends! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, uh, the thing! The thing went fine! I mean, no, I didn't find anything. Uh, but all the documents are gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. And there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She didn't. She wasn't acting anymore. That much was for sure. Ah, Kyoko, like a fine wine. What? Yes. So we're just gonna split up. Why is that? Of course. I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe. But isn't that just a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. 
I just, I had more I wanted to talk to about. Like, what are we going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done. It's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we... So... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for, Night Rider. Which is why I'll tell you go. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kind of tired. So I lay down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress moving alter ego, but I was way more tired than I realised. So before long at all, I completely dozed off. Nothing it. Who could it be? I guessed. Who did I guess last time? Hina? I can't remember who I guessed. I know who it is, but I can't, I'm trying to remember who I guessed. The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleeping haze and pulled me back into the real world. Makoto. Get out of here. Koko, what's going on? Indeed. Hina came to see me and she, she was as white as a ghost. It sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the wreck room. The wreck room? That's where we wreck. Shit. But okay, let's hurry. No. Anyway. I'd better hear what Hina has to say. Huh? Koko. Koko. You know what's wrong? Something's not quite right. In the wreck room. What's inside? There was a window on the rec room door. I hurried to look inside. And when I did... <gasps> Sakura. Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking. I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. Huh? So what should we do? What are we going to do? Anyway... First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked tight. Right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said... Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room door doesn't have a lock. Huh? And why? It would seem... It feels like the door's pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? What's a chair? In other words... Either way, the door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay. Uh, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room... Sakura still had moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Kyoko didn't reply. There's still only silence, but that silence didn't last long. Here. I found a broom in the closet. Use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Okay, you two, stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. Aiming directly at the window, all it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed it. I pushed on it. With all my strength, and finally the knob turned. Sakura. I ran up to her as fast as I could. But the moment I laid my hand on her... All I felt 
was called Death. I've been John Poxer and channel John West. I've been having a Dangam Romper Trigger Happy Havoc Adventure. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.